Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm out for a walk along the Basingstoke Canal. It's another episode of Miniature Railway Britain and we're going to the Frimley Lodge Miniature Railway. So we are currently in Frimley. It's a really nice section of canal. Woodland on one side, residential on the other. But before we get to the railway, we have to cross the southwestern main line. And the way we're going to cross it is, well, it's not that obvious. If you look ahead, well firstly, that lady looks like she's having a nice time on one of those um, paddle boards. Anyway, the railway, believe it or not, is actually here. This is an aqueduct which takes the Basingstoke Canal over the southwestern main line. So I've been under this aqueduct many times. I've never been over it before, certainly not on a boat. So if we have a look down here, quite clearly we have railway line. So what looks like four little tunnels is, so it's like a squared shape kind of bridge. Um, I think it's classed as a bridge rather than a tunnel because it's not bored and then it takes a angled way across. It's also a bridge for cars as well. I don't know how long it is till a train comes, so I'm not sure if I'm necessarily gonna wait for a train, but there we are, look, we're, that's the bridge and that's the number. With 31 miles and 55 trains, I expect from Waterloo. So that's Southwest Main Mainline, that is looking towards Basingstoke, and that way, kind of hidden by trees, is looking towards London. Let's have a look, um, see if we can see a bit more of the railway. There you go, nice cutting, and then Feels a bit strange return and here we are, here is the canal. So, we're now going to, when you get to here, it's not really obvious at all that you're crossing the railway, but we are right now walking over the southwestern main line. And then just through the trees there is the, um, the railway line. So if those trees weren't there, it'd be a bit more obvious that we were currently walking along above a railway line. What I'm going to do, I'm going to now continue along to the road I can see a road bridge, so to get another view of this aqueduct, I'm going to go around to the road bridge and then we can have a look. And then I'll continue back to the canal and we'll follow our, the canal until we get to Froome Lodge Mitchell Railway. Well, I've just um, taken a slight detour up the road to where the road crosses the southwestern main line. Just so we can have a look at the aqueduct, see what it looks like from this view. Whether we'll see a train, I'm not sure. There you are, that's the aqueduct, just there. So that's where we were a moment ago. I'm going to head back this way, back to the canal, and we're going to go and look to the railway line. I've just come about a quarter of a mile along the canal, and I think we're nearly at the railway because I can hear the sounds of whistles. So I'll go down here, I can see, I can just see a train pulling in in front of me become fairly obvious when we get here so if you wanted to bring your car a bit closer you could park here um, I believe it's pay and display but I wanted to make a bit of a walk out today so if we get to this, this is a very nice setting so this is the station so it looks like pulls in here you get off and it runs forward to the station around the corner so let's just go and have a little look interestingly there's the engine shed here there's like a, a branch line running right across here and joining up with the main system so let's just have a look around the corner and see what we can see. So, um, yeah, look, it says Frimley Lodge Miniature Rail. This must be the steaming base where they steam the locos up at the beginning of the day. If we go to here, this is the arrival station. So when you finish your ride, you get off at this two track station here. There's also a racetrack. In fact, just go up onto the bridge while well, not much is happening. I don't think the racetrack's running today, so perhaps one day we'll come back and have a ride on that. It's a shorter line. So you can see the two tracks coming in here. That's your, your racetrack. So I believe both lines do a circuit. The racetrack does a smaller circuit. So we get on that station there, Frimley Lodge. This station here is Parkside. I wonder if we'll find any others. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to join the queue there. I'm going to buy my ticket and we're going to go for a ride on the Frimley Lodge Miniature Railway. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. 
Enjoyed my steam haul trip behind that loco, which just slipped a bit as she departed. Another steam loco here, northeastern loco. And then there's a Hudson diesel over there, which is an out, and there's a couple of other smaller diesels out. What we're we going to do now, we're going to go for a walk on the line side and the canal side. We're just going to walk up and have a little look at some of the other aspects of the railway and see how it's developed and everything. Well, this is, we'll just you can go along the canal for long now, I know. Come back down to here, get quite a good view of the whole station throat. So, if you stand here, you can see there's three platforms. So we came out the furthest platform, and you've got two platforms here, and then they all go off into one line eventually, which forms the big loop. Oh, sounds like that steam loco is gonna go out, so we better watch that. And then um, we'll see what else there is. Going. So, before I wait for it to come forward, you can also see the racetrack. So it's a much shorter ride, just goes round there. Now let's watch this go. I'll see about the racetrack. So as another steam haul train departs, I think we'll see that as we walk around. So I was just saying that is the racetrack, so it's much shorter ride, just literally as a loop here. There's also though a junction here, and there's a, a ground level line which follows the racetrack round. So you can just see just there another train. So that's the line coming back. So it'll be a very short little loop. So there is um, that. If I don't know if they ever run passenger trains there, but technically you could do short journey. Now what we'll do. Let's have a look and walk along the canal. So the railway runs fairly close to the canal, not quite as close as the cross city line in Birmingham runs to the canal, but still um, probably the closest miniature railway I've seen to a canal. I might be able to think of one or two others that run closer. So the railway has been here since 1988. They built the kilometre of track which we had a trip on. The raised track was added in about 2012 so you can just see, let you look through the woods and there's a train going along. So what we'll do, we saw when we were on the train, there was another station called Tom's Holt. So what I thought we'll do, we'll walk up there and we'll just visit that station. And then as I walk back, I'll get some line side shots because it will make um, some quite nice places for line siding. As I saw from the woods, it's very pleasant though along here, along this wooded canal. Very pleasant. The canal dates back to the late 1700s they were building it, so obviously long before the railway. So going back to the southwestern main line where we first saw the canal, obviously that aqueduct wouldn't have been there, so they must have had to have closed the canal to build the railway all those years ago. Come up here and uh, yeah, this is quite a nice bit of to walk along. We'll walk down into the woods, we can walk beside the long double track section, no doubt we'll see a few trains as we go. There are some official crossings, we'll cross at one of them. Oh look, there's a steam logo coming by. So that was the one we had a ride on, you can see he's whistling there because there is a level crossing there. We'll continue to walk through the woods 
we'll cross the track at another level crossing and uh, I do want to go to this other station. I saw it was called Tom's Holt, so I just want to say I've set foot there. That's why we're walking this way. It's a funny place here, this bit of woodland between you know the canal and the miniature railway. Then on the other side, there's a bigger park. I can see people having barbecues there, that kind of thing. So sort of place you can come and you know just have a picnic, I suppose. Let's uh, go. Yeah, let's go down here. I want to get back beside the railway line again in the hope a train will come. It is all fully signalled, as we can see. If we come down to just beneath this oak tree, you can see a signal. So it's green. So when a train passes, it will go red. Or red. Yeah, there's also a yellow aspect in the middle. So if it's green, it means the next section is clear. But if it's yellow, then like that signal, you might just be able to see there is yellow. Then the next section after that won't be clear. So that means basically start to slow down. I can smell people having barbecues. Sounds a bit greedy, but it does make you hungry when you can smell a barbecue and um, you're not actually going to it. But anyway, it's a public park and there are barbecues. Oh, I can hear a steam train coming. Let's go and uh, it be that northeastern one. Let's watch that one go by. See people enjoying the rides and waving, which is always nice to see people enjoying a trip on the miniature railway, including the adults, not just the children. You do go to some sometimes, and you say to say the adults, you know, you don't seem to want to go on one. They just want to send the children. I always think, yeah, you, you don't know what you're missing. Um, I just think, you know, I always enjoy a trip on a miniature railway. I can't, you know, I don't I never really understand why people don't want to go. But anyway, here they all looked like they were really enjoying it. Oh, look, here's it's one of those crossings here. So. There's the Basingstoke Canal. Through the trees here, there is a crossing. It says beware of trains. I think we're very aware of the trains in both ways. There doesn't appear to be anything coming. Um, so that's looking down the main line. I actually want to stay on this side. So we're going to go back across. If you look here though, this is like the apex where it's the two tracks split to form that large loop. So Tom's Holt must be up there. It's quite good. I think this is up a bit of a hill. I'm going to so what, what I'll do is on my way back to the station, I don't think I can get a lift back because trains don't seem to stop at Tom's Holt. And um, what I'll do is I shall walk back and I'll stop at some of these key points and do a bit of line siding because I always enjoy line siding, whether it's on a miniature railway or a standard gauge railway. Talking of standard gauge railways, we are very close to another standard gauge railway, not the southwestern main line, but the line from Ashvale up to Ascot via places like Bagshot and Camberley. It's got to be literally just over there. I haven't heard any trains, so I had a quick check and um, it's unfortunately it's replacement buses today, so we won't actually be seeing any trains on that line, but we are very close to it. And then also not that far from there is the line that goes from Reading down towards Gatwick Airport. So there's a lot of railways in this area. There also, also used to be, I think it was called the Camberley and Surrey Borders Miniature Railway. I think it was a ten and a quarter inch gauge railway. That was in this area, that closed a long time ago. Maybe one day we'll do a video on what's left of that if we can find anything. Anyway, this is Tom's Holt here. So, I can just sit here now and uh, wait for a train to pass through. It's, um, we just see it come through. So I'm just gonna sit and wait and see what comes along.
I've had a great time here today at the Frimley Lodge Miniature Rally. Had a very pleasant walk along beside the canal. What I'm going to do now though is I'm going to make my way back. If you'd like to come visit this railway, probably the nearest station is Farnborough North. There is a railway station at Fim Frimley, but um, I think the one at Farnborough North is probably slightly nearer. So do you know come and visit this railway. It's a really pleasant railway in a pleasant park as we've seen. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment from the Friendly Lodge Miniature Railway, goodbye.